interesting new here. Hello, good morning everyone. Welcome to this week's vlog, coming to you from my new salon. Not loads of progress actually since I last saw you. Um, things have been slow, mainly just because of like, games like nursery and everything. I look like absolute shit. Should I even start this vlog? I've had a basin installed since I last, since you last saw this base. I don't know if you've seen that. I can't really remember. I think I'm gonna get to Liverpool. Do you want anything? <laughs> oh, is that my, with, is this? Oh, it's a bit boy band, isn't it? I look like shit. I sound like shit. I've had a cold. Um, I've also been really um, down <laughs> recently. So I'm crying all the time. So I don't know if this is the best start to the vlog actually. Um, but just quickly, I'm here waiting for a fridge to be delivered, which I think is going to turn my day around. I'm really quite excited about that. Yeah, this is the salon since you last saw it. Nothing's happened much. I have been stalling on moving just because it's a lot and gay site nursery and all that kind of stuff. But I am, I've decided next week I'm going to move. Also, there are some things I need to do, like I've ordered kitchen cabinets to go down on this wall behind the basin. I do need to wait for those to come and to be put up before I can move in because I want to move in and have everything have its space to go into so it's not chaotic. Um, yeah, my delivery slot is 9 to 1. It's 9.16, so I don't know how long I'll be here for. So there we go. One thing I'm very happy about is there is parking right here outside my salon, which is so much closer than where my salon is at the moment. There's parking close to my studio at the moment, but it's not always guaranteed it gets busy. It's quite near the centre of town. This is further out, so I'm just really happy. Anyone that comes to see me, if you drive, the parking's much better around here. The fridge has arrived. The fridge, I've been waiting all morning for it, actually. No, it's not been too bad. It's 11. Um, and my delivery sort was 9 to 1. Very nice delivery man. Bought it in and they were like, do you want us to take the box away? I was like, yes, please. Oh, my door's opening. Hold on. Here's the fridge. It's not very exciting. It's just there for now because the plan is for it to go under here. And when my plumber was here, he said like, this could just be taken out. This isn't like fitted. My battery just uh, died. Basically, there's the fridge. But I can't turn it on for four hours. So, shall I open it? There's a little freezer at the top. Put frozen limes and lemon. A bit of ice, maybe. Just turn off the Anna edit. Very housewife puffy hair. Uh, I haven't finished doing it yet, I've just washed it. Good morning. Today is already off to a much better start than yesterday because I haven't cried. <laughs> I'm currently sat in Gabriel's room because Elliot is napping and I'm getting ready and I'm having a really nice day today, which has lightened my mood. And I also do just generally feel better. In brief, I've not been feeling, I've just been very, very up and down, probably since like Gabe's birthday, um, which is mid-August, for lots of reasons. <laughs> but it's just very up and down being a mum to a toddler. And also I've mentioned <clears throat> Gabe's autistic. So there's just, you just have pos good days and bad days. Mostly I feel positive and I have positive days and I find joy in every day, but recently it's been very heavy, I suppose. And that's not really for any reason other than I've just had a lot of like big feelings. <laughs> Gabe is fine. Um, Gabe's doing really well. He's settled into nursery, like we couldn't have asked for it to go better. We weren't hugely concerned, but it's just like this morning I dropped him and he just ran in. He loves being there so much and the staff all love him. We've had great feedback. It's gone amazing. But there's just been, I've struggled, I think, with him being gone five days and it's like a big transition. Um, and I think I'm struggling with the change and transition what, more than Gabe is. Like, I don't think Gabe really struggles with change that much. It doesn't seem to at the moment. That could change, but for right now, I wouldn't say change is something that he struggles with. He just gets on with it. I do struggle with change, <laughs> so um, clearly. So I found that a bit difficult, but it's also, also being much more conscious now of things that we might be missing out on because Gabe isn't like the other children or like developmentally isn't where the other children are at. He doesn't speak. Um, he's started to say some words, but we don't have 
we, we can't have a conversation but there's no back and forth and I think that's the biggest thing for me that I try not to dwell on the can'ts and and don'ts and what we don't have and focus on what we do have what you can do and what's really positive but sometimes you do have days where you just feel quite sad about things and like without going into too much detail because I'll probably get upset again I don't want to be upset because I am feeling quite good it's things like he can't tell me how his day was at nursery so I don't pick him up and he tells me what he did or if he had fun I couldn't be like on the first day oh let's go and get ice cream or let's go and do this he wouldn't respond he wouldn't know what was happening so it's those little things that I feel really aware of at the moment because of starting nursery also like we had a meeting with the send coordinator which is great she was lovely um, but that again makes things very real in terms of like having a diagnosis and like now this is the way that our life is when we go into education and like formal settings you're kind of reminded that there's a difference with your experience and other parents so that's a top line view <coughs> of why I've been quite teary recently but we're we're feeling good today I'm feeling much better and I am going to head out because I'm meeting my lovely friend Paul for lunch so Paul technically some of you may remember him he's like technically has been like my manager in the past for like social media work and he still can do that for me but I'm not really in that space where I'm doing a lot of that um, and it's not really a huge focus for me and so outside of that we are just friends and I haven't seen him for ages um, so we're going for lunch today so that would be so nice I'm going into London I'm also getting ready slightly early because I want to go earlier because I want to go to Glossier because I need the stretch foundation like I, I need it I don't need it <laughs> I definitely don't need it because I've actually just bought this um, a couple of weeks ago because I also needed this god I mean social media is awful isn't it I feel like I'm back in that I don't know if it's like I'm just trying to cheer myself up by buying stuff but I feel like I'm back in that realm of being very easily influenced by the internet at the moment and back in that space of feeling like I need six foundations when I really don't like I barely wear makeup most days but I did go and get this the other day which is the Chanel Le Beige water fresh tint Be and this I did need and it's because I ran out of my Glossier skin tint and I wear that pretty much every day and I just wanted to try this because I've seen it everywhere I then ordered another product that I also wanted to try but yeah I do like a tint um I feel like I'm quite lucky with my skin and I still want it to look like skin but I just want it to look a bit better some days and so a tint really works for me the Glossier skin tint really worked for me um I also use the stretch concealer which actually I think is downstairs however I've seen the stretch foundation everywhere and I was going to order it the other night, but I just don't love shade matching on the internet. Although, it's only because, so I did shade match myself for the first time this, like, last Christmas. I bought a Charlotte Tilbury Light Wonder Foundation because it was on sale. And I love that foundation and the match was pretty perfect. So if I do an online match, I do it to that shade. Then I look at other influencers that I think I have a similar skin tone to and they have a different shade. I think I'm light one or light two, but I'm just not overly sure. So I don't want to order it. I want to go into the store and have a look at them. However, Glossier customer service is amazing. So I remember when I shade matched myself to the skin tint because they changed the shades. I ordered the wrong one and they just sent me the right one and I didn't need to send the other one back. So I know they're really good like that, but I just want to go in. I also do want to go in and uh, double check the stretch concealer shades because I know since mine is so old they've added more shades to the range so I just want to make sure that I get the right shade in that because I will need to get a new one of that soon. This is a very like odd product if you've seen it anywhere it's like kind of separated in the bottle and you mix it it comes with a brush so let's give this a go and get this on our face it literally comes out like like water <sighs> that makes a bit ominous Oh, it smells so good. And then on we go. So this is medium plus. Is this medium plus? Oh, medium light that I have. See, I actually feel like this has a lot more coverage than you would think. And do you know what? The light is really bright behind you, so I feel like I can't really see how that looks, but I feel like it looks like I've got something on my face for sure. It looks exactly as it says, water fresh. I that makes my skin look so hydrated. I think my skin looks pretty good with that on. Stretch concealer look well loved, so I do need to get a new one at some point. I love this tint so much. I think that looks great. I don't know, it's not finished. Then I wanted also the water, is it called the water fresh? The odor blush, 
which I've seen everywhere on TikTok, specifically in a shade called Warm Pink. I saw Emma or Aurel, I'm not sure how you say her name. She was the first person I saw like talk about it and then I just saw it everywhere and she didn't use the shade but Warm Pink is the shade and it was sold out everywhere. When I bought the Water Fresh Tint, I was gonna get it but it was sold out. So I signed up to be informed when it was back in stock and it came back in stock so I ordered it online and I think this is the way to order Chanel because I got my samples in a little Chanel drawstring bag which I think is great for travel very chic I actually got Hainsey a sample of Blue de Chanel and then I got the Sublimage um, moisturizer when I bought the water fresh tint I got a sample of Le Lift which is their like lifting serum I don't love makeup brands skincare so I don't have high hopes but I thought let's just try it anyway and then this is the little bag and then this is it um so i actually think if you want to feel a bit special because the chanel counter can be hit and miss like what samples they have how generous the person is oh it's my neck how generous the person is that serves you i would possibly order chanel online because you definitely get samples and you get to choose them and they came in this little sample bag which you would not get on counter so that's just a little tip if you're shopping chanel so here we go eau de fresh water fresh blush this is the shade warm pink it Honestly, it's just like a drink. Look at that sheen. It's like a drink of water for your skin. Very sheer, this blush, which is good because I. this is why I wanted it because I'm not actually a blush type person. So there we go. A little bit of a sheen. Oh my God, I think that looks bloody gorge. And you really do not need a lot at all. Oh my God, beautiful. Stunning. I'll bring you close. We're now in the bedroom because Elliot woke up, which is great. I've just got to do my hair and then get dressed, which sounds like a simple task, but I don't actually know what to wear. I've got no idea what to wear. I need to check the weather because last night I absolutely pissed it down and throughout the day as well. So I have no real weather appropriate clothing. So I'm not really sure how that's going to go. I'm hoping it's nice and sunny now and I'm hoping it just stays that way. If I have time whilst I'm at Glossier, whilst I'm kind of down that way, there's also an Arquette there, which I wouldn't mind popping into because there's a stripy top I've got my eye on. Can one have too many stripy tops? I don't think so. And also if I go past a weekday, I wouldn't mind popping into there to pick up some more bras because I love a particular style of bra that they do. And I'm realising, I coming out of having children, getting back to myself, I suppose, I don't have a lot of underwear. I don't have a lot of bras that fit anymore. My knickers are basically like go from size 12 to size 16 because of wearing them through the various stages of pregnancy. I haven't really changed them. Although I did get rid of all my knickers recently where the elastic had gone, so that is progress. Can you see this new hair just here? I feel like all of a sudden I'll show you through my parting. I've had so much new hair growth, which is great, but also annoying because it just sprigs up. Has anyone ordered anything? from Organic Basics because I was looking at them the other day because I need new underwear and just new kind of basics like they do some really nice like vests and tops and stuff that you could layer especially where it is starting to get colder. Has anyone shopped on there? Um, because I've obviously seen influencers talk about it. Lizzie Hadfield did a partnership with them when I was watching her videos where she talks about it. I think that New Bathgate's had some Organic Basics. So like it's got for me you know the seal of approval but has it you know? It's not hugely, it's not as expensive as something like Skims because that would be another brand I was considering but then I don't really want to give like Kim Kardashian my money, do you know what I mean? Yeah, if anyone has shopped on Organic Basics and you can report back on the quality, how it washes, <laughs> things like that, that would be really helpful because they have got some lovely shaped bras. Yeah, I don't know if they're actually like as good as they look. But there we go, that's all I can muster for my hair. Now let's get dressed. This is the outfit. Um, not very exciting, I don't know what you can see. But these trousers are old and other stories, they're kind of like boy suit trousers. And then I've just put my Birkenstocks on, can you see that? I can't see what you can see. And then this trench is in case, but no umbrella, is that risky? This train is for... Hashtag influenced. Didn't love the shopping experience in Glossier, only because once you've chosen what you want, they order it for you on this iPad thing, fine. And then you have to go into this room to wait for your order to come. And it's quite cute, like it's got like a generation game type thing where your bag comes up and then they call your name. But 
if you're in a rush and you're like, I just want to grab this product, kind of annoying. I feel a bit like Argos. A lot of places do that now, this Argos type purchasing system. And yeah, if you're in a rush and you just want to run in and grab something, it's not ideal. And I can imagine at Christmas and like the weekends just when it's busy, that would just be a nightmare and quite stressful. Um, also, when I was ordering off of the iPad, like the internet went down. Do you know what I mean? It's just not great. Anyway, off to lunch. Focus, focus on me, please, camera. Okay. I'm back. Is that, am I in focus? God, is that my eyesight? Here we go. Hi there, I'm back in my joggers now from such a lovely day. Kids are in bed, which is great. I'm just about to make dinner. And obviously, <laughs> I didn't actually get any footage in Nessa. And then we went to Soho House for a couple more drinks. And I didn't get any footage of that either, so. <laughs> I think I've improved in my vlogging style. I feel like I'm slowly getting back into like a proper vlog rather than just a mishmash of like, what are you doing, Mary? Um, but you know, baby steps. I do also still forget to vlog what I meant to vlog. But anyway, um, lovely lunch that we had. So lovely to see Paul and catch up. Um, it's like no time passes at all. I haven't seen him in real life for over a year. I must have seen him maybe when I was pregnant with Elliot at some point it will be in my whatsapp actually but sometime last year i think it was like no time passes at all you know when you have those friends and it's like you always want to be able to see them and then you don't and your lives get busy but then when you do it's like no time hasn't passed like i keep saying something anyway god i haven't drunk in the day for ages i feel a bit squid that's a lie actually i have the old gin and tonic here and there sometimes you know on the afternoon shift i'm joking when it's been a nice day, I don't mind a little G and T whilst I'm cooking. So I have had a drink, but I haven't. I mean, I'm not drunk. But I definitely feel a bit like, oh, I've had a little drink. Um, I say little. I have had quite a lot actually, but yeah, I haven't day drunk for so long. But it's so much better than going out in the evening and drinking because you can kind of start your hangover like now and then go to bed and not feel so bad in the morning. I don't know why my voice is suddenly gone either. I never know how much. Well, think we need to do. I feel like with normal pasta, like rigatoni or something, I have a good idea of like a serving size, but I have no idea with linguine. Also, um, Hainsey picked Gabe up from nursery today and um, he ate loads of pizza at lunchtime apparently. And this is a big deal because Gabe's eating has become very restricted. Um, he just eats the same kind of things. He's always more inclined to eat something different when he was with his childminder. And I was hoping that would be the same at his new nursery. But even towards the end of being with his childminder, he was getting quite picky. At home, I just felt like it was getting... There were less and less options to give him. Um, he's always... Lunch and breakfast, he's always been quite good with. And I say good as in like he eats the same things and he eats them. But dinner is so hit and miss. Things that he will have eaten previously, he just suddenly won't eat. And it went from like four dinner options to like two to like kind of one to then literally having the same thing for lunch and dinner. Um, and pizza he's never eaten. I've tried to give it to him, not interested. And he didn't eat it last week at nursery, but apparently he ate loads of it today. So I'm really pleased, <laughs> my sweet angel. Can you see me? Are you going to fall off? Right, today has already turned into an unplanned chaotic day. It's five past ten. I dropped Gabe at nursery this morning, ran in, loved it, um, my sweet angel. And then I've come home, I'm just getting ready because I'm doing hair this morning. And then I was expecting to just come home later. Hainsey's here today, so he's with Elliot. Come home later, pick Gabe up and have a, you know, normal afternoon. My friend has texted me because she is in need of childcare this afternoon. God, I look so pale. <clears throat> Let's warm up this complex. Anyway, she's in need of childcare this afternoon. Um, so we are like each other's village because we don't have a village. Um, so where we can, we try to help each other. And so she was like, oh, I'm so sorry. Do you, can you have uh, her daughter this afternoon? Um, my friend is a doula. And that means she looks after women who have just had babies. Um, or she'll look after you whilst having your baby. She does, she goes to births and she can be a birth partner for people, but primarily she does postpartum care. So she's basically got a new mum who's got a two, a two day old 
who's in a bit of a pickle. Um, so she's like, I have to go out and see her. And I'm like, that is fine. So I'm now, she's going to drop her daughter to me at my salon. Not my new salon, because I'm not there yet. My studio. She's going to drop her to my studio. I'm going to bring her home. And then she'll be with us uh, until maybe like six, half six. And I've said I'll get the kids McDonald's for dinner because that's just easy. I actually don't know how much vloggage we'll get today. It may just be this morning. Um, I have just put on, so you remember yesterday, <clears throat> I got the Glossier Stretch Foundation. I haven't worn that today because I just didn't feel like I had time to probably put it on. But I have wore, I have put on again my Chanel Le Beige Water Fresh Tint. But instead of putting it on the back of my hand and mixing it, I just put it straight on my face and buffed it in with my brush like I normally would. And I think I prefer it that way. I feel like the coverage is much better. That's exciting. Oh, one other thing. I've got like basically my first school mum friend. I say school, Gabe is at nursery, but it's like a, I've mentioned before, it is basically run like a school. And there's one mum who I've spoken to quite a few mornings. She remarked on my Beyond Nine jumpsuit and how much she loved it. And she'd been looking at Beyond Nine. So I was like, order it. And so I saw her today and she's like, my stuff came. She ordered three things. She loves all of it. We're just, we've been chatting away quite often this week after dropping the kiddies and having like quite a long chat. And then today she had to get off. So she was like, we must do coffee. So I think we're going to do coffee next week. So am I a professional mum? Because I'm, I'm, I have a school mum friend now, I think. I would, I would say that. <clears throat> okay, there we go. Makeup is on. I look semi-presentable. Oh, hi. Um, it's me popping in. That last bit of footage was actually completely unnecessary because nothing else happened that day, but I'm going to keep it in. So there we go. I'm just coming on to end this vlog because I started next week's vlog today. Um, but I need to end this week's vlog, which is going to go up tonight. I know I said Sunday previously, but obviously that didn't happen. So enjoy a little Monday night viewing. I think maybe that might be better, like a, especially going into winter, winter, especially going into winter, like a Monday night evening view rather than a Sunday. Anyway, thank you so much for watching as always. And yes, I have started a vlog this week. When you'll see that, who knows? Um, okay. Thanks. Bye.